welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I go by V-Man. And yeah, Saturday morning cartoons are back. So here we go. We're here for the first episode of X-Men 97. I did not watch the original run. Uh, I'm not old enough to have watched the original run. But growing up, I was a really big fan of X-Men Evolution along with uh, Wolverine and the X-Men. And after coming off of those two shows, I was actually able to find uh, the original series, uh, the X-Men animated series. So I have watched it. It's been a very long time since I've watched it, but I have seen it and it, it was just amazing. I loved it. And so I was planning to rewatch this before the, uh, before season one dropped here, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm sure there's a lot of things that I forgot. I do remember some of the big stuff, but there's definitely a lot of things I forgot. Uh, so it's going to be great getting to see the show again. Like when, as soon as they announced it, I was so excited and I can't wait. And with everything going on now, you know, Marvel or Marvel animations, cause that's the new studio that they made. But with Marvel in general, having the rights to all their stuff back, well, not all, not all their stuff back, but I did hear that there might be some really cool cameos. So like fingers, fingers crossed that we get some pretty cool cameos here just cause I have a feeling one might be Spider-Man, like the original Spider-Man series, but I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, the, the Spider-Man animated series, so yeah. But they, there's just so many cameos that they could do here with this. So hopefully that comes to fruition, and yeah. So that's, like I said, Saturday morning cartoons are here, so that's why I'm releasing it on a Saturday, just to, you know, get the vibes back, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so other than that, we're going to go ahead and get into episode one here. To me, my X-Men. Oh, I love the new the new intro. Or the new Marvel Animation suit. Did they keep it the same? Oh wow, they did. That's awesome. Dude, the nostalgia that is going through me right now. This is incredible. Like I'm already just excited and overjoyed. I think Bishop's was new. I don't know if Bishop had one and the original one. Oh, was that a uh, Mr. Oh, what's his name? Mr. Mr. Sinister, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, with them running at each other and so. Oh, wow. That's awesome. This is great. We take a look back on another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier. The mutant yeah. leader's assassination last year by or was it? Agent Henry Guy. <laughs> Just kidding. We all know. The buyer's really going to throw down 10 grand for every mutant we nab? Says he's using them for target practice. Someone, someone's buying mutants for ten grand. Wow. Heir to the Da Costa fortune, name a price. Money's not an issue. Da Costa? I feel like I know that name for some reason, but I'm I I don't recognize the character, but I recognize the name. The. So you're just gonna shoot him? Uh oh. There's a storm coming. Quite literally, in this sense. <laughs> I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Oh wow, mistress of the elements. Yeah, that is what she used to say. No, oh, Bishop's there. Okay. Pardon me, Bishop, for striving to resolve matters peacefully. Real peaceful storm. <laughs> oh, there was a sentinel un literally under that tarp. I didn't even realize that. Or did these dirt bags get upgraded? Uh oh, watch out, yeah. Boot it up, boys. X-Men are like roaches. Oh, that blast took them both out. <laughs> Alright, who's ah oh, there he is. <laughs> Good guy or bad guy. This animation looks great. I love it. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. I love I love the use of his of his uh Mm. Oh, it was just the hand. I thought the, the whole symbol was under. How did you aim that? <laughs> you just connected two wires together and it aims at it. Well, I guess they are made to find and attack mutants and kidnap or capture them, eliminate them, whatever. Scum like you get your hands on Sentinel technology. Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't. I uh oh. Surrender. I surrender. Not. Oh. They're dead. He killed them. They're <laughs> they're dead. 
<laughs> of course. The crop top is crazy. Retrofitted sentinel weaponry. Do you have any idea what that means, Gambit? Means you get to howling like a lone. Now, where are you going, Rogue? You're all dressed up. What song is playing in the background? What is that? The last few months ago, I'm trying to see if I recognize it. Professor being gone and all, but sugar, if you don't simmer down. <laughs> sugar. Rogue is right, Cyclops. Scott, while I trust it all. What? Oh, this is uh, what's his name? Stop being a creep, more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was like, that was not Cyclops. Hey. What's up? That force field around him. And, like, that really made me think. I was like, wait, Scott can't do that. Role models for our guest. Jean's right. Wait, who's the... Oh, they brought the kid back, yeah. Oh, is this Beast? Yeah. <laughs> I love that he works upside down. I've always loved that. That's great. Mutations and welcome. I'm blue. Very blue. <laughs> You're blue. This name's Jubilee. And dude, I get it. One day like I wonder how many of the original voice actors came back. Because I know some of them passed away. But this... <laughs> this is awesome. Is an elegant piece of art capable of teleporting someone through time and space? Bishop Sling. He's a time traveler. Oh. Hey, how fares the boy? Did I know that? I know Cable's a time traveler, but I don't know about Bishop. I don't remember that. Roberto, we can't <laughs> super expensive. Yet. Oh, right. How much? How much? For the save, I was gonna pay those creeps to free me, so you take checks? We're you take checks. That giant arm was from a machine called a sentinel. He got dressed fast. I, I just realized he was wearing his suit. Your attackers could still be out there, child. Should we let what are his powers? They could find you and kill you. Just give us the data, figure this out. Make sure you're safe, and then you can go do whatever a kid like you does. He sounds like a trust fund kid. <laughs> so there's no telling what he does on his free time. What is this? Are over. We are nature's that was Roberto, wasn't it? At the, standing at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, it's no game, buddy. It's the danger room. Oh, okay, that- I was so confused. I was like, is this a dream sequence? The like is not even real. You would turn your back on your own? <laughs> nah, you just said it wasn't real. What are you running for? Seriously, girl, get the light. <clears throat> Show the lady some respect. Oh, so scary, Jubilee. Can we stop now? Yeah. <laughs> Scary enough for you, bub. Agencies in the U. Oh, I want to see his powers. Rumors of adding mutant militias with sentinels. Man, the OG suits. Trask has been missing ever since hmm. the conventions tried to swap out President Kelly's brain with a sentinel computer. He'd need a master mold factory to build new sentinels, and you X Men destroyed the only one years ago. When they say the only one, it's hardly ever the only one, you know? There's always another. A little trust, Scott. Professor mm. loved to say, trust happens when actions meet words. Cyclops out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been playing basketball. This certainly explains your mood. Yeah, it came yesterday. Cyclops changes clothes very fast. And you'd say, but sir, what's the point of being an X-Man if we're not allowed to enjoy our lives? Whoa, whoa, I did not sound like that. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> you still sound like that. This is really cute. This is awesome. It really, like, it really feels like he's dead. <laughs> I guess that's, like, for newer viewers. Like, newer viewers that didn't see the original show, they want you to think he's dead or something. Damn. Leave what the team. Said, Scott, what have we been fighting for all these years if not the chance to finally live our lives? Sure. Oh, no. He's going to be mad. Why would you like what even happened? <laughs> Jubilee, what are you doing? Bozo here scared Roberto off. Cyclops, what if those creeps with the sentinel gizmos find him? I understand I understand Jubilee attacking <laughs> attacking him, but how did the ball <laughs> destroy the picture? Get in the room and destroy the picture. Gene may take the Boy Scout routine summers, but I don't much go in for being bossed around. Fry me a river, Wolverine. <laughs> Hmm. 
find Roberto. Please. That's all it takes. But want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. Don't. Oh, yep. Yeah, he said it. Man, that's not very nice, dude. <laughs> where's where's emo? But there are too many damn sets. Really, you get kidnapped and then saved, and the first place you go is a club. Definitely a spoiled <laughs> spoiled rich kid. If I was down there and one of them brushed against my skin, my power sap and touch is leaving with a nasty hangover. <laughs> I love her accent, it's great. Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, boy. <laughs> yep, trust fund baby. What's wrong? How? Oh wow. I'm Jean Grey. When you announce your name, it's less believable. Oh, hello, you on the sidelines watching our exhaust. Not you on the sidelines. No, oh, of course. Imagine if the X-Men weren't here <laughs> trying to find this kid. Dude, he's just no. No, I'm not going back there. Dork, let's go. You're not safe here. Just just imagine being kidnapped and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna go party. That's crazy. <clears throat> this animation style looks so good. That's cool. Oh, the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Wow. So we might wear tolerance on our sleeves, but we know that. Tolerance is extinction. The fact that he said that's a storm is crazy. Mm -hmm. Save me from what? You? No, but have you met my wife? Hatred weakens your mind. Oh, that, that was a good play. I like that. You know, it sucks because he's just going to use what Jean is doing to really like reinforce his thoughts on mutants. And... <laughs> Something's you know, wrong. if he would have just gave Somebody them here the information. Wait. What? What's happening? There was someone else in his mind. Uh, <laughs> the little X-Men swaddle blanket. <laughs> Who's who else is in his mind? Like what is going on right now? What would we do if we ever lost you? <laughs> I don't think you guys would get much done if you lost him. <laughs> you guys would be still in the backyard playing basketball. That's crazy. This scene is crazy. That was so good. All right, Storm Rogue. Pick a body. Oh, did he just turn into a or the Metal Wings is like Archangel, right? That was cool. He's going to catch Scott. Oh, Scott said he's got it. Oh, he's diving at the ground. All right, what's the plan here? Oh, he's gonna use his, oh, wow. That's crazy. They are really doing everything they can to make Scott look amazing and it's working. Like I've, I've always, oh, he said it. Oh, with the theme in the back. The episode could have ended right there. It would have been great. But they're doing a great job of showing how cool Scott is. Like, I've always liked Scott as a character. I've always loved Cyclops. And, like, the hate that he gets from the fans sometimes it really isn't deserved. He's really cool. Okay, but who is Trask working with, though? Because that vision that was in the dude's head, like, it couldn't have all been, like, Trask and... Oh, yeah. I'm surrounded. I don't know if any of you ever watched the show uh, The Gifted, but in like episode one, one of their ringtones was the was this theme, and I was just so like I was so giddy about it. Like it was like the, one of the greatest Easter eggs ever. That's but that was before like you know Marvel and everybody started using the theme as little as hinting at the X Men. Beautiful involuntary friendship. <laughs> involuntary friendship. Oh, this okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up something later. Because I don't think that was all hand-drawn stuff. Didn't they say that they were gonna try and do all hand-drawn? 
Oh. Yeah, you bet Omega level threat. Give them the forecast, you you're gonna need a better line than that, Scott. <laughs> Dude, oh wow, that's dope. Feed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. Wow, in the eye of the storm. What? What is she looking? Oh, okay. You Oh, I remember this from the trailer. That's so dope. I actually, I want to see them do that in live action. Is that the blob? <laughs> wow, that was cool. I But I do want to see like a uh, Gambit infuse Wolverine's claws with kinetic energy. Like that'd be so cool to see in live action. Oh, look, she came through. But all you do is remind us that our days are numbered. I have a bad feeling about this guy. I'll get out of your head. He won't show anyone his powers I know and he was strange. You know. When I trust fun baby. There, <laughs> I ran away, just like you. What's that noise? Oh, the music coming in. It's like wait, what's he doing? I'm so paranoid. I don't like when they introduce new characters like this where they're trying to keep secrets and stuff. I have a big mistrust Some of them. Sort of solar energy. Oh. Solar energy, huh? It's interesting. Just guess. Here. Hmm. What's your job? Hot you have rich? a. Don't forget single. DJ. Page me. Oh. I got a jet. He said, "Don't forget single." So is he the DJ? Why does he have a business card? <laughs> Remember, no power. <laughs> what is this? Everyone against Scott? <laughs> Scott was just standing on the other side by himself. But his dream doesn't need me. It has all of you. Hmm. And with that said. Gene and I have an announcement. Oh, great. We're not bailing. Uh, Cyclops and Gene were the first X-Men. If they're gone, who the heck is going to lead the team? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, Go. this is from the trailer. The you guys didn't pick up the frame that fell? Why wouldn't you pick that up? He never ceased to have faith in our friendship. Well, Jubilee did ask who would lead them. The last will and testament of Charles Why is she? <laughs> Why is Gene holding her stomach? <laughs> As like everyone's there ready to fight and she just came in the room holding her holding her baby or holding her stomach belongs to me my x-men uh oh <laughs> all right so that's it for this episode of x-men 97 it was it was great <laughs> it was great the nostalgia was amazing it was really awesome to see everybody back um all their introductions was gr were all their introductions were great uh storm bishop metamorpho like metamorpho th wait hold on okay i was getting ahead of my metamorpho metamorpho is dc i meant morph when he walked in looking like charles i was so confused like you, you could see it on my face i was like wait what is happening right now but yeah getting to see him was cool even cyclops cyclops using his uh using his optic blast i keep i always forget what they're called because omega beam is like i'm getting my worlds crossed right now but Cyclops using his his optic blast to uh you know fight and propel himself in the fight was amazing. I don't remember him ever doing that in the original show, but it's really awesome to see that like the world has you know kind of advanced so much with animation and things like that. So them keeping it kind of in the same style as the original show, but you know them being able to do more with it is just amazing, and I love I loved it how they used it here. And along with that, you know, stuff from the comics, too, that have come out since this show, like, because, you know, the term um, to me and my X-Men, that was never really said in the original show, but they use it a lot here because it's, you know, kind of uh, Charles's thing. I mean, other people have said it, like whoever's leading the X-Men normally say it, but the fact that it wasn't in the original show, but it's here now and it just feels right that they're saying it is amazing. <laughs> but uh yeah so they really did a great job of making Psychop look amazing like all of his fights were amazing when uh when the plane was cr when the jet was crashing and you know he just he dived towards the ground and used his blast to slow his descent that was incredible like they're doing a really great job of making him look cool like Psychops has always been cool he doesn't deserve half the hate he doesn't deserve any of the hate that he gets from a lot of the fans but <laughs> they really made him look cool to show you 
you know, show that first off, he's awesome and that he really is the one to be leading the team. Well, actually, Magneto's here to try and take over, but I'm sure, you know, uh, Cyclops will lead in the field missions and stuff. And, uh, yeah, the whole living testament the whole testament of Charles Xavier, you know, leaving everything to Magneto is going to be really interesting. And I can't wait to see what the X-Men do with that, like how they're going to adjust. Cause they were, they were already, weren't really adjusting well to Cyclops <laughs> taking over. So I can only imagine how they're going to adjust to Magneto taking over. But yeah, so in this episode we stopped Trask. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Anyway, we stopped Trask with his plan. They never really answered what was going on when Jean was reading the one guy's mind and like she had these visions because I don't think Trask I mean obviously Trask doesn't have any powers but she was saying there's someone else here like someone else in that guy's mind that made her see all the visions so I'm not really sure what's going on with that so that'll be interesting but I do want to talk about how DaCosta I don't remember DaCosta like the name's not ringing a bell I'm sure once they say like his his name like the name that he goes by, like his mutant name or whatever, I might remember him, but I don't remember DaCosta. And really, I have a lot of mistrust with him right now. You know, him not wanting to show Jubilee's powers and, you know, running away. And then after getting kidnapped and saved, the first thing you do is go party. Like it just doesn't, you know, it's not making any sense to me right now. So I have a lot of mistrust in him. I'm not sure who that's supposed to be. When they reveal who it is, I might be like, oh yeah, okay, never mind, he's cool. <laughs> but for now, I don't really trust him. But yeah, character introductions are great. It's, it really feels like Saturday morning cartoons are back. So that's kind of what... The feeling that I got from this first episode was amazing. Like I said in the intro, I only really want... Like, I grew up with uh, X-Men Evolution and X -Men Wolverine and the X-Men. But I did, I did watch this show whenever it came out, whenever I had a chance to watch it. And it's great that it's back. They did an amazing job. Like I already said, the technology, them making it look old school, but using like new school tools is awesome. I actually looked it up. So the characters are for the most part hand drawn. Like they try to keep all the characters hand drawn, but some of the backgrounds and stuff are a little bit of, you know, newer animation, like CG, not CGI, but like newer VFX kind of stuff. So, cause I was looking at it, I was like, this looks really good. There's no way this is all hand drawn. But yeah, so it's a it's a it's a nice mix of both. So they did a really good job with that. But yeah, can't wait to get into episode two here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.